Inequalities, Part 1. Today, we will examine simple inequalities and learn how to graph them on a number line. Yesterday, we learned about integers on a number line. In the middle of a number line is the number 0. So, what comes after 0? Well, on the right side of a number line, you have positive numbers. Positive numbers get bigger as they move away from zero. On the left side of a number line are negative numbers. These numbers get smaller as they move away from zero. So when you compare numbers, you have to remember this saying. Right is large, left is small. Far from zero, close. Okay, let's try that together. Everybody stand up. Don't all stand up at once. Gerardo, I'm waiting. Okay, we're ready. Okay, together. Right is large, left is small, far from zero, close. So when you're looking at positive numbers and you're comparing positive numbers, the one that is farthest from zero is the biggest number. When you're looking at negative numbers though, and you're comparing two negative numbers, the one that's closest to zero is actually the biggest value. So let's compare some numbers. When you compare numbers, you're asking yourself which number is bigger. Okay, so let's take a look at positive numbers. Let's compare four and one. Which number is bigger? Well, you know that if you plot these points on the number line, you have four and you have one. Which one is farthest from zero? Which one? One or four? Four, okay, good. So if you have a hungry Pac-Man or alligator, they wanna eat the biggest number, the biggest value, which is four. So you're gonna open your mouth towards the four, okay? This symbol is called an inequality. Inequality, it says four, is more than one, okay? Let's look at an example with negative numbers. Let's look at, compare negative five with negative two. So you plot negative five on the number line and you plot negative two on the number line. Which one is closest to zero? That would be what? Negative two, that's right. So the hungry Pac-Man wants the bigger number and it's gonna open toward the negative two, okay? Now, if you read it from left to right, this says that negative five is less than negative two. This is an inequality. Um, uh, Miss Cotran, what is an inequality? That was a Chandel impression, by the way. Love you. Okay, so an inequality is a statement that two things are not equal. What did I just say? Two things are not equal. That's right. So let's examine inequalities when you use the letter X or when you use a variable, something that is unknown. And we're going to look at two types of inequalities right now. The first one you're very familiar with, and that is greater than. Everybody repeat, ready? Greater than, okay? Then you have the same symbol, but then it has a little line underneath. And what it says is, repeat, greater than or equal to, okay? I'm gonna show you the first inequality. What if I tell you that x is greater than three? Okay, the best way to illustrate this is by drawing a number line. So let's draw a number line. That's a horizontal line with arrows 
on both sides. In the middle of a number line is what? Zero. On the positive side, we have one, two, three, and let's just keep going. Four, five. Let's stop. On the negative side, we have negative one, negative two, negative three, and we could keep going, but we won't. If I tell you that x is greater than three, find three on the number line. There's three. If you know that x is greater than three, you need to draw an open circle around the number three. So here's what you'll do. This means open circle. Okay, open circle. So I'll draw my open circle. If x is greater than 3, x could be any value that is more than 3. So what we do is we'll go ahead and shade in everything to the right because everything to the right is larger, right? So x cannot be 3. x has to be more. So let's take a look at some of the numbers we could use to plug in for x. Okay, look at the number 4, okay? Is 4 greater than 3? Is it more? Yes, that is correct. Is, now what, what comes next? 5. Is 5 greater than 3? Yes, it is. Very good. Now let's look at what happens when x is greater than or equal to 3. When you see greater than or equal to, then you want to splat. You want to go ahead and fill in that circle, okay? So find three and splat. Fill in the circle, okay? Because x is going to be greater than or equal to three. So if it's greater than, you're going to go to the right, shade it to the right. All of the values that come after 3 should make this inequality true, including 3. So let's take a look. Just take a look at this. Is 3 greater than or equal to 3? Interesting question, right? Is it greater than or equal to 3? Well, it is equal because 3 is equal to itself. So this actually is a true statement. Okay? Is 4 greater than or equal to 3? The next number that comes after that we shaded? Yes. And is 5 greater than or equal to 3? Yes. The next inequality we're going to talk about is less than. Repeat after me. Less than. So we know that everything that is less is to the left. Okay? Everything that's less is to the left. So if we talk about, for example, x is less than 3. Okay? X is less than 3. Well, less than means it does not include 3. So you have to draw an open circle. Open circle. Okay? On the number line. So let's find 3. Okay? 3. Draw an open circle. If I'm talking about numbers that are less than 3. Is 2 less than 3? Yes. Is 1 less than 3? Is 0 less than 3? Yes. All of these values to the left, in fact, and, and look, it actually points to the left if you look at the less than symbol, doesn't it? It points to the left. Everything that points to the left is less than 3. So you fill in this whole number line to the left, and this says every number that is to the left of 3 makes this statement true. Let's take a look. Is 2 less than 3? Yes. Is negative 2 less than 3? Yes. 3 will always be more than the numbers that come before it. The last inequality we're going to learn about today is less than or equal to. So it's still the less than symbol, but with a little equal sign. So when you see the equal sign, then you have to slap, just like you are killing a bug. Bam, okay? When you kill a bug, what happens? Ooh, you get all this stuff left over, right? So you're actually gonna fill in the circle, okay? Let's take a look at x is less than or equal to three. Okay, so we have to first find the three, and because it's equal to, we're going to splat it down, and we're going to fill in 3. Okay. If x is less than 3, 
or equal to 3, it means you're going to shade everything to the left. So you'll shade in, make it dark, everything to the left. When you do that, you are saying every number to the left of 3, but also 3, makes the statement true. Take a look. Is 3 less than or equal to 3? Well, 3 is not necessarily less than 3, but it is equal to 3. Is 2 less than 3 or equal to 3? Yes. Is 1 less than 3? Yes. How about negative 3? Is it less than 3? Yes. Let's review. So when you see this symbol, it means greater than. And on a number line, you will shade everything that's pointing to the right. Okay? I'll make right in blue. Okay? You're going to shade everything that goes to the right. And then the circle is going to be open because it does not include the number. Okay? Greater than or equal to. Well, this means you're going to shade everything to the right. But the circle will be splat closed because it's also equal to that number. When you're talking about less than, well, less than points to the left. So you're going to shade everything to the left. Will it be an open circle or a closed circle? Okay, if there's no little line, that means it's open. Okay, the last one is less than or equal to. You're going to shade everything to the left, but because it's equal to splat, you're going to go ahead and fill it in. This is what you're going to need to know to be able to graph simple inequalities.